We got prototype number five. Yeah, so we're test. We're gonna test this new prototype. Noise issues should be solved. Um, Every prototype I make I think is 10 times better than the last one and when it shows up and I test it I'm like okay there's a clear problem here I need to order a new prototype there's a, there's a clear problem the last prototype that we did it still had some what you could call edge cases like it still had some problems where low volume signal from my phone at 100 Hertz was saying it was 400 Hertz if I add in a low pass it solves it but I needed to also add in a high pass so I needed another op amp just to make sure it's actually working, I ordered the actual chips and I, I etched my own PCBs so that I could create a breadboard adapter, wired everything up, and then, you know, tried to make sure that this low pass actually solved the problem before I order the next prototype. Okay, so what is up guys? We got the sixth prototype here. Um, it just arrived a few days ago, but I've been doing I've been doing a lot of the software stuff, Wi-Fi programming. Um, oh yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I filmed. Originally, the plan was I was gonna use Bluetooth for sending the app data over. I basically realized that Bluetooth is not very suitable for what I, I need to do because I would have to use Bluetooth low energy and you can only send 20 packets at a, or 20 bytes at a time and it just wouldn't work well for large amounts of data so I realized I should probably use Wi-Fi instead with an HTTP server and just set up like a REST server which is like standard standard web API stuff I already know how to do that so I've been working on getting a Wi-Fi provisioning service on the ESP32, which is the microcontroller. I'm really excited about this prototype. We actually changed, we changed a lot. The connectors are totally different. We have an actual uh, barrel connector here. I'll show you. Barrel jack instead of a terminal block. Four pin instead of a three pin. And this is a pluggable terminal block. So I'll show you, I have the plug for it. Oh yeah, this is using two ounce copper instead of one ounce. Um, and much thicker traces, so better current carrying capacity. The jack will support 10 amps of current going through. There we go, power. Nothing blown up. Now we just gotta get the program running. Looks like we did fix the noise issues. I have some more testing to do. See, the volume is just stuck at zero, and that's where it should be. But before, it was like around 20% always. 30% even, even when no music was playing. But now it's zero. Wow. So let's pay attention. We're at 300 hertz. It looks good. We're at 100 hertz. There we go, 100 hertz. It looks good. 
50 hertz it says about 60 that is dude that is so good you have no idea like on the last prototype when I made this 50 hertz it still said 500 hertz because there was a high frequency noise that was getting into it this is so solid, I'm actually so happy with it because the whenever you're playing at higher volumes and higher frequencies, it always worked, but it was at the low volumes and the low frequencies for some reason that a high frequency was getting into it. Literally, it's completely silent. You can't hear, there's no weird noise happening. This is, you know what, this is the first prototype where we've actually done the grounding on the bottom and we've made sure that whenever we need to do the ground, we just drill a via and then we try to not have as many uh, traces going through the ground plane on the bottom. So we have a really solid ground plane and noise issues with analog electronics is so difficult, but I think we have finally solved it. I think, I keep expecting to find something wrong with it, but I think it's good, okay, so. Yeah, and uh, you need to make it super cool and uh, let out the party, you know. <laughs> I showed, I sent Justin a Snapchat and he yeah. goes, Yo, that's lit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe I should just name it lit. Yo, so, so you see this power block, right? Why I say this is, should be a separate product is because this is uh, another accessory, okay. just powering the strip. Good idea. No, this is called extra lit. Extra <laughs> lit. <laughs> you've been coding for hours and you just run it for the first time look at this so this is actually the function definition look at how big it is because std map char const pointer std map char const pointer void pointer compare function pair char const pointer const char con <laughs> i basically i declared a map within within a map Okay, so it is the code that I just wrote that is uh, breaking something really bad. Jack, how did you do that? <laughs>